Summary 90 Day Fiancé cast member Statler Riley calls out controversial couple for immoral behavior, specifically their treatment of a chained pet monkey. Statler, known for being an animal activist and calling out her fellow cast members, slams Brandon and Mary for being bad con artists who endangered an endangered species for money. Brandon and Mary's scandalous relationship and questionable actions, including releasing the monkey they kept as a pet, have drawn criticism from Statler and fans. The couple's response remains to be seen. 90 Day Fiancé cast member Statler Riley is calling out a controversial franchise couple for their immoral behavior. Statler, a 33-year-old from Irving, Texas was first seen in 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days Season 6. Statler was in a relationship with Dempsey Wilkinson from the UK who she had met on a dating app. Statler wished to move to Dempsey's country, but the British woman was not aware of her girlfriend's plans. Statler, too, didn't quite like Dempsey's living situation, and the couple argued over the subject of having kids after they married. Despite the disagreements, Statler and Dempsey stayed together and even planned on going on a Euro trip in a van. Those following Statler on social media are aware of her being an animal activist. Statler also is not shy when it comes to calling out her fellow cast members for their outrageous antics on screen. After taking shots at Big Ed Brown and Angela Deem, Statler is now slamming Brandon Denuccio and Mary Damasu I on Instagram. Statler reposted a story from Starcasm on Instagram where the publication reported how Mary and Brandon created controversy by keeping a chained monkey as a pet. The couple then stirred up more trouble by releasing the animal in the wild but not before they asked for donations from fans. Statler wrote, they're really bad, morally and just dumb, con artists, it seems about the pair. Why are 90 Day Fiancé's Mary Brandon controversial? Statler explained that the monkey Brandon and Mary had kept in captivity in their Philippines house is a long-tailed macaque. These were listed as endangered species in 2022, as per Statler. She wrote that they are the most illegally traded monkeys and will go for a price. Statler reminded fans that Mary and Brandon are the kind of people who are willing to do just about anything to make a quick buck. Brandon and Mary's debut episode in 90 Day Fiancé, the other way established them as a scandalous twosome. The 23-year-olds both stayed on a video call 24-7 for two years of their long-distance relationship to keep tabs on each other. Mary and Brandon's family members spoiled their storyline by posting photos of their wedding on social media. It was rumored that the couple was pregnant. Brandon couldn't keep jobs in America because of the video calls with Mary, and he asked her to leave her dance troupe because he feared she would mingle with other men. Mary lost her college scholarship due to this and basically, none of them had any jobs or career aspirations despite wanting to start a family together. It was Statler who reportedly claimed that Brandon and Mary had been fired from 90 Day Fiancé for revealing too much information about their storyline online. Statler later denied the claims, but it seems her dislike towards Brandon and Mary is strong. 90 Day Fiancé fans first spotted the monkey in the couple's vlogs on Facebook. They reported Brandon and Mary to the authorities and begged for them to hand over the monkey to authorities who could take care of him better. 
However, Brandon and Mary set the monkey free after claiming they were trying to protect it from their neighbors by keeping it chained to a tree at home. The monkey has seemingly returned to their home again after the incident. It remains to be seen how Brandon and Mary respond to the situation. Source. Stadler Riley, Instagram, 90 Day Fiancé, Instagram.